Hello everyone. Uh, today I was going to talk a little bit about uh, some of the airships I've made. These are some of the more recent ones uh, on the smaller size. Uh, the three I'm going to particularly focus on with this video are three drones that will make an appearance in my third novel. So uh, in another video I'll show you some of the things that are in the um, second novel, and the first one I guess. Uh, but this one, these are going to show up both me in the third novel, um, in which case the drones are being flown by the bad guys and they're fighting the good guys and they're pretty stable. The first drone I like to talk about is this big guy in the center. So you can see he's got the uh, grasping arms here. Um, the ends are made from old pair of pliers, even this part here. Some hydraulic actuators. Over here we've got uh, some large guns. These beautiful things are um, once gasoline torches. Now the main body of this, see through here, that's an old chain. And to that chain, I welded, um, just with steel initially, these two plates, hopefully that's showing up, which actually are part of a clutch out of a tractor. And to that, using silicone bronze, I welded old bowls. These are brass bowls. Probably had some Chinese uh, characters in them. Up top here, this is part of a clutch plate out of a motorcycle. This is like from a cap from a cylinder. Uh, legs, more uh, pliers down here. Candlesticks for propulsion. Uh, even the fins, things like this, these are cut out of, uh, these are stainless steel. They're cut out of a part from a farm combine. It gets damaged, thrown away. I get my hands on it. I, I like to make things out of it. So that's the first one. Uh, in the first, in the third book, I should say, uh, this guy comes in and tries to uh, steal a couple of the uh, heroes of the, the story. Now, uh, we move on over to this one. Turn the camera a little bit, get a little closer. Alright, so here we have a guy with a couple small guns here, also from uh, gasoline torches. Uh, actually, from the, this is the torch body right here. We've got the, uh, the main body on this is copper, and it is made, this was once a hot water bottle warming your bed up before going to sleep. Another cylinder cap small uh, cylinder. There's a part from an old instrument. We've got the uh, props on the back. They uh, actually were part of a pine cone, believe it or not. The landing gears down. The idea was here that this guy could drop his tail and, uh, and suck up ocean water. In, in the story, they uh, these guys operate on hydrogen that's obtained by taking apart uh, the ocean water. So uh, there's that guy. And then we've got one more to look at right now. And uh, there you go. So this one's got the wings. These were a part of a brass eagle. I showed a cane that I don't think it's from the same one. Um, an old fire extinguisher. Here's some small cylinders, napkin ring, candlestick, torch, all right, with the radar dish here. Now when working with steel and brass uh, and copper, there's several ways you can work. At times, you're going to do this. 
and it's welded with the silicone bronze, which I've talked about before. Same as right here, I've welded the silicone bronze to the steel. For the fire extinguisher itself, instead of welding that uh, primarily, I think it is held in place, but I've used made rings of uh, the appropriate size that uh, wrap around it and hold it in place. So, same way back with the uh, this other one I showed you. The main body is just captured by the steel. These curved parts are cut from garage door springs. Great source of material. I think I put something up on Instagram about that if I remember right. Maybe not. So anyway, there's a look at the three. As I say, they're going to be in the, the third and probably final book of the trilogy. The first is uh, The Kraken's Kin. Then uh, Follow the Sunset, which is just out. Both of those are available on Etsy. I'll show you. I'll, uh, I think I'll switch back to my other camera, so hang on a moment. All right, so as I'm saying, we've got the two books. The Kraken's Kin, first in the series. Follow the Sunset, second one. Cover artwork is done by my wife. The beautiful young women on the covers are my one, my one daughter, my other daughter. Um, so, family event. So, thanks for checking it out. I check out my other uh, videos on YouTube, and you can also follow me on um, Instagram. It's a good place to see lots of stuff. I do have some old websites. I haven't updated them in a while. So show some of my older stuff, but uh, I'm, I'm doing this stuff now to kind of document some of the things I've done over the years, and this is some of the more recent work. So thanks again. Take care.